Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some 2D 3D text that's similar to Shark Effects' text in some of his intros. So yeah, let's let's get this started. So what you want to do first is you want to click this and you want to click New. And then you want to basically make the width 2000 by 1000. This will basically just create you a nice big canvas which is the size of this canvas. So. Let's get started. First what you want to do is you want to have your first layer and you want to create a text. This text can basically be anything. Say for instance, uh, my name, Wanda. Yeah, why not? So basically what you want to do is you want to get a nice big bulky text. Like Molot for instance. Yes, right now Molot isn't the best because of my name. It gives you like kind of like a gross kind of thing. You know, actually I'm just going to do name for this tutorial. Uh, you can do your name, use any kind of font you want, just find a nice big bulky font that you end up liking. So now that we got this font out of the way, uh, we want to right click the font and we want to click blending options and you want to add a stroke. And we're going to make the stroke black and I'm just going to reset all of this stuff to how it is originally and we want to make the uh, outline of it fairly big around I'd say around there. Now this is only going to be the start of it. So here, now you have this text. So you're like, oh cool, I have some text with a stroke on it. Yay. You want to select the text, uh, hit Control c and Control v Ooh, that's not... <laughs> you want to select the text and make sure the layer is selected, hit Control c and Control v This will basically duplicate the text layer and put it back into position, drag it underneath, and then we're going to right click this and we're going to click blending options. No, oh, actually we're going to take this and we're going to drag it down a bit. Then we're going to make this smaller, drag it into the center, then drag it down. You're going to make this text layer smaller. Now what we want to do is we want to right click the original text layer, which is actually a text layer. If I'm confusing them, I apologize, but I'm terrible at these kind of things. So yeah. Then on this text layer, you want to create a drop shadow. And you want to bring the spread all the way up, bring the opacity all the way up, and change the blend mode to normal. And then we're going to change the color to like our red. And we're going to drag the scale up to about like, like that. That looks good. Now that we have this, we're going to do the layer underneath, click blending options, and click color overlay. And click color overlay, then we're going to basically copy the same red color. And then now we have text that looks kind of like this. Now that doesn't look that great, now does it? Uh, we want to, actually I want to make the scale down a little bit more. And I want to drag this a little bit down further to about there. Now, we have this and so far the text looks like this. How do we make it look better? How do we make it look kind of like the shark effects st style text? Let's try to do that. So you want to select the pen tool and this is going to be a really tedious pro process, but um, it'll come out looking good in the end. So you want to just zoom in a lot so you can actually see what you're doing. And then you want to, at just the specific points, you just want to click. And then you want to click there and draw in a nice little thing. Then you want to click uh, Fill Path and select Color, copy the color click OK and then do that. So we're going to be doing this a lot so just bear with me I might speed this up. All right, yeah. All right, so so far that text looks all right. It doesn't look the best. It's not the best. I think I did it better last time, but this is just text with actual color instead of the other text that I made with the shark effects, which was just black. This is giving it a little bit of color, and it looks a little bit better, I think. Um, I could have made the text look a little bit better if I spent a little bit more time in it, but I want to quickly get this finished. 
So now that we have this done, it looks like this, and I think it looks pretty good so far. So now that we have this text ready, uh, what we want to do is, since this text is basically how we want it to look, we want to select all the layers and hit Control E. This will put it into its own layer. Then we want to right click. We can add another stroke if you want to, which uh, gives it a kind of neat effect. You can make it have it give it a white stroke or keep it like make it a black stroke. And here's the main the effect that you need to do to make it look more like Shark Effects' type of text. So you want to click this button. This will basically add a warp. And you want to go to Arch Lower, and you want to bring the bend to about like negative here, negative 6.5. And that gives it a slight bend and makes it look a lot more similar to Shark Effects' text. So hopefully this tutorial helped you out a little bit, and maybe you can make text that looks a little bit better than mine. So, yeah. Hope this basically gives you a general idea of how you make the cool little 3D text, 3D 2D text. I think this looks alright so far, um, considering I didn't watch any kind of tutorial making this, I just uh, went into Photoshop and tried to make some text that looked like Shark Effects, and I think it looks alright. It's not the best, because it doesn't look as good as it is, but you, to be honest, you can't, you can't be as good as Shark Effects, he makes some pretty good text. Alright, so anyways, uh, if you want to see more tutorials, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't worry, the new intro tutorial will be here at some point. <laughs> Bye.